So hello for families and friends. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you again for tuning in to another vlog or another cooking from my kitchen. Tonight we are making sugar cookies and decorate them as Samoan flags. Let's start cooking. These are the ingredients for my cookies. We'll start with the all-purpose flour, corn flour, granulated sugar or normal white sugar, eggs, butter, and vanilla essence. For the icing mix, powdered sugar or icing sugar, milk, maple syrup and red and blue food color. I have my baking tray or baking dish lined and oiled already. I've prepared two of them. Let's start with sifting our flour. We'll sift the all-purpose flour and the corn flour together. Okay, let's give that a stir one more time. I am using the salted butter, so I am not adding salt, but if you were to use the unsalted butter, then you can go ahead and add one teaspoon of salt with the flour. Okay, let's put that aside for now. Let's go ahead and add our butter to the bowl of the hand mixer or the stand mixer. We'll go ahead and start beating the butter slowly. Now, my butter is not as hard. It's still soft. So, and because I'm using the spreadable butter, um, I find it it's a lot easier for me to do this recipe than using the normal block butter because it takes a while for it to um, make it softer or sitting outside on the bench to make it softer so this is working for me uh, but feel free to use the normal block butter otherwise an easy spreadable butter it's it's um, ideal. Well, it works for me. But do what it works for you, everyone, families and friends. Let's continue on. Okay, we'll add the sugar now. Okay, we'll add the first half. And then continue on beating. Scrape down the sides and then add the rest of the sugar. Right now I'm going to add my eggs. Start with one egg first. And we'll go with the last one. Go ahead with the spatula again and scrape down the sides. Then we'll keep beating these until it's nice and fluffy. And the eggs, butter and sugar is well combined. Let me add, I forgot to add our other ingredient. Very important is our vanilla essence. I'm adding two tablespoons. If you have vanilla extract, go ahead and add one tablespoon. I don't have vanilla extract, which is why I'm doubling on the essence because it's not concentrated as the vanilla extract. Okay, let's continue on. I'm 
Mm. Okay, so we are now ready. Our butter, eggs, sugar, and vanilla essence, it's all ready. Um, not sure if you can see the consistency. It's nice and pale and it's um, soft as well and fluffy. So we are now ready to add our dry ingredients. Let's slowly add the flour in the bowl. We'll start with that half first. Now, we must remember to cover our bowl because the flour will be all over the place if we don't. And then we'll slowly turn on the mixer. Let's check. Yep, yeah, that looks all right. Scrape the sides. I've added the rest of the flour. Cover our bowl again and then do it slowly again. Okay, that is it guys. Let me undo that. What I'll do, it's hard, maybe move that out and I'll start rolling out the dough and if it's easier for you to have the dough cut in half and then do two lots of uh, sheets of dough then by all means do it that way. If it's hard for you to deal with, you know, big piece of dough like I have so that is it what I'll do I will I'm going to cut them in half it's easier for me to handle okay here we go so here's our first one there's two sheets there I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I'll do the same and then put it in the fridge as well. And then after 30 minutes, we will come back and start rolling and cut our, our cookies and get it ready to bake. Let's sift our icing sugar. Okay, let's go ahead and add milk. We will also add our corn syrup or maple syrup. And our vanilla essence. I will just stir them first to mix them in. In the meantime, I will set up our oven Preheat our oven at 160 degrees Celsius. We will then bring out our dough and start rolling our cookies. Because I'm making flags, mini flags, or mini flag cookies, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this sardine tin to be my template. Okay, so we'll start baking these uh, for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now we don't want to burn them. We want them to be brown but not burnt. So 10 to 12 minutes, keep an eye on your oven and then we should be uh, ready to bring it out and, and then continue on with the, the rest of the cookies. All right, our cookies um, are done. We are waiting for the rest to be cooked. Now these will be um, cooled down. I'll cool it down on a rack and then we will go ahead and start decorating them. With the icing, I'm going to transfer a little bit of the white icing and put it aside. And then the rest I'll divide it in two and I will have two different colors. 
So I'll have a red and blue icing and with a little bit of white icing put aside. I started decorating our cookies and started icing pretty much all of them. Now I left two because I want to show you how I did it. But this is the best I could do. And this is home decoration. You know, I don't have the tools. I just use what I have, which is my icing bags and just go with the flow. But this is um, my baking and supporting our Tosamo team. So if you can see, we've got the flags, Samoan flags um, that I've created out of these cookies. The area uh, where I am, um, they run out of flags. And because we don't have flags either ourselves. So these are our flags. All right, let's get on with our decorating. Um, so I'll go start decorating now. And hopefully, I haven't added the stars on some of them. And please excuse my stars. It's the best I could do from home with the limited tools I have. All right, let's start. Let me put this on baking paper so it's easy for me to slide. I am going with my blue. Obviously, that's the blue rectangle that's on top of the flag. And then do the best that you can. And just create a border. Create a border first. I do this because it makes it easier for me to work, to work around it. And then I just squirt most in the middle. All right, I'll start with that first. And then I get a toothpick and use the toothpick to spread them around. Spread it around evenly. So you can see that my icing is spreading down. It's okay, I can fix that later. You can just go ahead and fix it when the icing is dry, but um, for now, I'm just gonna work on this rectangle um, blue shape up here. And this is part of the flag. The toothpick is helping me as well to try and have a, a straight line as best as I can. My hands are shaking too, so it's not going to be perfect, but as long as you get the shape that you're after, I think that's close enough. Now, the next part will be my red icing. And for this one, I will go around and start a border first. Okay, you squeeze and you're lifting up the icing tip and you move around and that helps you to have a straight line. Okay, so I'm going around and I'm creating a border first. So just make a thick border around. Well, this is how I did it. So I make a thick border around here. Now, and the reason why I did that, I want to have it a bit um, harder, go a bit harder, and then I'll add more in the middle. And that stops from um, the icing from spreading like the blue one here. Maybe my blue icing is a little bit running which is why it's spreading, but it's okay. It's home baking and it's for the family. I'm sure they'll be happy with the effort. <laughs> Go with my toothpicks and just tidy up that area a bit. Do one more for this side. Just connection here. I'll leave that to dry up a little bit and I'll do the same for for the smaller cookie. I move this here and I'll decorate the small one. So for this one I won't go too close to the edge. Just work in the middle. And then I can use the toothpicks to spread it around. So I don't have this problem here. 
Now using the toothpick and I'm making a straight line using the tip. I'm using the tip of the toothpick. That's the best I can do. Again, I'm going to go with my red and create a border. We'll swap and we'll put this one back in there. The red border is a bit dry now and let's go ahead and add more in the middle. I'm going to fill the middle now. Start with that amount first and we'll use the topic to spread it around. So see how it's a lot easier to use the toothpicks to fill up those holes when you do a border first. Okay, that's it, families and friends. I think that's the best we can do. It will dry up and then it will look up exactly like these. So I think I'm gonna go with the stars now and decorate the, the one that's dry already. I will put this aside to dry and then I'll finish off the stars. Now this is the part where I get shaky hands even more. Um, but it's got to be done. <laughs> In the flag, there's five stars. I will go and, and start with one star. Okay. Okay, that's one. And then I'll go with a small one. Hopefully I get a good shape. Not bad. And then another one. And then two stars on this side. And another one here. I could go with my toothpicks and clean out an excess icing. You could get the stencils and do it properly. Again, I'm just working with what I have here at home. So yes, I will finish off the rest when, um, when it's dry up. I hope you enjoy baking with me, making these cookies. Thank you for tuning in and thank you to my wonderful subscribers and viewers. I really, really appreciate you all. Thank you for supporting my channel. It means so much to me and the family to have the love and support from all of you. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time, welcome to the family. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like any of the recipes, please click the like button below and the, the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop in a new video. I will see you in the next episode. See you everyone.